Chapter 1 Ever wanted to experience life as a frog? Sapo 3D lets you do exactly that with a charming blend of platforming that feels both nostalgic and fresh. The game wraps you in this low-poly world with pixel art touches that gives everything a warm, handcrafted feel. You'll be hopping through four distinct environments, each with their own personality, collecting golden flies while avoiding the oddball creatures that stand in your way. The story unfolds through universal symbols instead of text, so anyone can jump right in. There's this mysterious gate that keeps drawing you forward, giving just enough narrative to keep you curious. And if you're the competitive type, the game includes Steam achievements and speedrunning opportunities that'll have you perfecting those jumps for just one more run. Sapo 3D reminds us that sometimes the most delightful games come in small, amphibious packages. Number two. A pixel art adventure where puzzles and identity intertwine in fascinating ways. This is Shadow Alchemist. You start in the depths of a mysterious dungeon with a simple goal that quickly becomes much more profound. Your goal is not just to escape, but also discover who you truly are. The game boasts an engaging alchemy system, where you'll gain abilities to shrink yourself down, become temporarily invincible, or create duplicates, transforming standard puzzle solving into something genuinely innovative. There's some combat scattered throughout your journey, but Shadow Alchemist respects different playstyles. You can outsmart enemies using your powers rather than taking the direct approach if that's more your speed. As you navigate deeper into the dungeon secrets, the story unfolds in layers, revealing both your character's truth and the nature of the world itself. It's the kind of game where each new room might change how you see everything that came before. And if you're looking to create your own 2D game in the Gato Engine and need a little help in the art department, check out the sponsor for this week's video, Anocolisa. They've been a follower of the channel for some time and have some really excellent 2D game assets in their itch.io page, whether you're making a top-down game, a side-scroller, or a classic NES retro game. The top-down assets you are seeing right now are completely free, but if you'd like to support real artists making real game assets, check out their paid assets, or support them on their Patreon. Number three. The Fisherman is a game that blends the meditative rhythm of fishing with rich narrative consequences. You play as Fur, a seemingly simple fisherman in Wind Thistle Village whose daily routine hides a more complex reality. On the surface, you're casting lines and selling your catch to survive, but beneath this ordinary life runs a current of rebellion. The game weaves quiet gameplay with meaningful choices. The money you earn doesn't just upgrade your fishing gear, it secretly funds those fighting against oppression, turning each successful catch into a small act of resistance. Your character carries a troubled past that colors every interaction in the village and beyond. Each conversation and decision therefore feels pretty consequential. You create this fascinating tension between maintaining your peaceful facade and your hidden allegiances. The Fisherman uses its serene waterside setting to contrast with the underlying political tensions, reminding us that no matter how far we cast our lines, the tide always brings back what we try to leave behind. Stellar Checkpoint transforms the mundane into the extraordinary by making you the gatekeeper between Earth and the cosmos, armed with nothing but a stamp and an eagle eye for details. You're tasked with checking documents from an endless parade of hopeful visitors. Humans, robots, and aliens alike, each with their own story and reasons for seeking entry. The brilliance is in how the rules constantly shift, forcing you to adapt daily while spotting increasingly clever forgeries. You don't only have to worry about some simple document checking either, it's also the moral weight behind your decisions. As you process paperwork, you'll uncover threads of a larger mystery that might have you questioning your superiors and the very system you enforce. Every stamp approval or denial carries consequences, leading to multiple endings that range from heartwarming to devastating. The game never assumes all aliens are threats or all humans are trustworthy, leaving those judgments entirely up to you. With additional minigames breaking up the rhythm and full VR support for those wanting total immersion, Stellar Checkpoint turns bureaucracy into something unexpectedly compelling. And before we get to our last spot, congrats to last week's winner, Super Penguin Ball and Chain. Be sure to vote for your favorite in the comments to have them included in this year's Gato Game Awards. And like last year, just because a game doesn't win its week, it doesn't mean it can't be included in the awards. Number five. 
You are at the center of an ambitious historical power play where you'll reshape British history from the ground up in taking London. You begin with humble origins, just a small village under your control, but don't get too comfortable. The game challenges you to strategically expand, building your way toward the ultimate prize, London itself. It's a blend of city management and military strategy. You'll upgrade buildings to strengthen your economic foundation while training armies that can execute your territorial ambitions. But brute force isn't your only path forward here. The diplomatic layer adds genuine depth to every interaction. Form strategic alliances when they serve their purpose or break them when the time is right. It delivers the satisfying balance of real-time city development and tactical combat creating a rhythm that keeps you engaged whether you're planning your next architectural marvel or orchestrating your rise to power through military might.